So we advise you that the following segment contains sensitive images that some of you may find disturbing. So viewer discretion is being advised. Monkeypox is a viral zoonosis, which is a virus transmitted to humans from animals with symptoms very similar to those seen in the past in smallpox. This morning we discuss monkeypox, what you need to know. Um, and the Ministry of Health and Wellness is Director of Family Services, Dr. Melody Ennis joins us. Morning, Doc. Morning, Dr. Ennis. Hi, morning. It's interesting because in preparing for this, monkeypox was first discovered in 1958. First human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Well, it's last week I hear about it for the first time. So where was this monkeypox all, all the while, please? But in a very serious way, um, yeah. what exactly is it? I mean, Delia said some of that already. Well, it, it has been in the rainforest for a long time. And Delia made an important point. It's a zoonosis. So it's really an infection of animals that somehow, sometimes, affect humans. So it really is a virus. It's a viral infection that's called uh, the monkeypox virus is the causative agent. And when you have animal to human transmission, then you can go on to have human to human transmission. It really is characterized by persons getting a high fever. They get extreme exhaustion, just really feeling tired, a headache. But what is quite uh, characteristic for monkeypox is what we call lymph adenopathy, which really is, you remember wax and cannon that yeah. you get all over the body sometimes when you get a cut somewhere, right? So that is very, very uh, characteristic of monkeypox. So you get those. And then following that, maybe about three or four days after that fever, headache, and the wax and cannon, then you start getting that rash. Oh. And the rash now starts off as a flat, uh, flat bumps, and then they get raised. They then go on to contain fluid, clear fluid, and we call them vesicles at that time. And then they progress to have pus in them where we have now the pustules. And then after that, it crosses over and resolves. So resolution of the illness takes place in about two to four weeks on average, somewhere about 21 days. So it really is a self-limiting uh, infection. Mm -hmm. Never said something, Doc, and maybe it's early days yet to tell, but, but there was a time, I think even the smallpox, we didn't hear a lot about it. Um, why, why is monkeypox emerging now? So smallpox, let's, let's go back a little bit. Smallpox was a devastating uh, disease. Yes. Severe with bleeding and a high fatality rate. And the world worked together to eradicate smallpox. So that was done through the use of vaccines and we completely wiped it off the map in 1980. So we no longer have it. So that's why most persons below the age of what, 50, 40, have no clue what smallpox is about. Mm -hmm. But if you look at older persons, that mark on the shoulder, that branding vaccine mark, that's your smallpox shot that you would have received 40, 50 years or so ago. Mm -hmm. Now, because we have eradicated it, we don't have that in the human population anymore. Monkeypox, and there's also something called camelpox, you have that in the wild, and then they re-emerge when persons uh, go into the rainforest, when we eat bushmeat, uh, mm. when we mix and mingle with the animals, yeah. then you can get a jump from the animal population into humans. So it is one of those re-emerging diseases because we have infiltrated or gone into the animal's space. Tell me that again, Doc. Um, how I, <laughs> no, I mean, tell me the part of how I get it in a very serious way, how I get it from an animal. So if I eat the meat or if, I, am, so mm -hmm. if I eat the meat from a, an infected animal, mm -hmm. then I'm in trouble. Yes, sir, you're or, in trouble. Or if, uh, so if I'm, a, say, a pig farmer then and, and, and I'm a, among pigs, I can get it there? 
if your pigs are infected. So primates, the, the, the host or the reservoir for monkeypox is not clearly known. We believe that it, it lives a lot in rodents, but it has been found in primates. So, you know, once you are, and it's not only the live animal that can cause infection, the dead animal, mixing with the dead animal can, animals can also uh, lead to an infection. All right, so unfortunately, if I got it from an animal, how do I pass it to a human? Okay, so now this is where the droplets come in. It is transmitted via droplets, so in sneezing, coughing, spitting, all of those actions that allow for sputum to spread in large droplets, we can get it like that. We can also get it from our body fluid. So remember, we spoke of the liquid in the in the, the vesicles and the pustules. So when those break, when those lesions break, we can spread it when there is contact. And of course, you're sleeping, uh, your bed linen, you get uh, friction and you break the, the lesions. It, goes onto the bed linen, it can so be transmitted as well. Yeah, does, it present, course, does it present like anything else? In other words, does it present like maybe we think a chicken pox or we think is something else we have that we're not too certain? So, so yes, it, it, the, 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 there is a differential, a set of things that we look at, and chicken pox is one of them. Even a severe allergic reaction might be one of what we call a differential diagnosis. So you look at all of those. But what is what we call pathognomonic or really, really characteristic of this thing is the lymph adenopathy. So with the others, you don't get as much of the wax and cannon all over the, the body. And okay. the presentation is, is, is quite different because the bumps are a little raised and they, it, it, the distribution and where it starts is also uh, significant. So it usually begins in the face mm. and then spreads. And it's one of the few infections that uh, affects the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. You get bumps there. You get bumps on the mucosa. You get bumps even in the eye, on the cornea. Wow. So it, it, you, you can differentiate wow. uh, the, the monkeypox. Mm -hmm. uh, Chickenpox comes with itching. Does the monkey pox as well? Yes, it comes with itching and it comes with pain. The, the, the postules may be very painful. So in the treatment, of course, it's a viral infection. So we treat symptomatically. So we're going to treat your a very high fever that you have. We are going to treat the itch that you have, the pain that you have, and we're ensuring that you're well hydrated and, of course, isolated so you are not able to transmit this disease. Mm -hmm. so again, in, in preparing for this, currently I'm reading here, there is no proven safe treatment for monkeypox virus infection. Can it kill you? Yes, it can kill. The case fatality rate is about three to 6%, uh, but children, are more vulnerable as well as persons with underlying conditions, persons with uh, unhealthy immune systems, so you're, in, you're immunocompromised. Mm -hmm. So those persons are more at risk. But in general, the, it is self-limiting. The majority of persons will survive, overcome the illness. It's just a month of trauma. Mm -hmm. And after that, you're good but we still have those persons that we're very concerned about. We're also concerned about the pregnant woman because it can cross the, the placenta and baby can be, be uh, infected. So pregnant women, children, persons with underlying conditions, we want, of course, them to be very careful and protect themselves. Now, we have to make it clear, we do not at this time have monkeypox in Jamaica. We do not have that infection with us in country. Okay. Doc, you have a webinar? Today at 12.30, mm -hmm. and we will be exploring the monkeypox from its origin, what we call the epidemiology, how we do surveillance, 
how we report internationally, looking at the signs and symptoms, as well as the treatment. So we're encouraging persons, I see you have it on screen, to come on uh, down, listen in on the webinar, get as much information about monkeypox as we possibly can, okay. so that we are up there. Okay. Should in case we have a challenge. Uh, Dr. Ennis, forgive me, did you say that a child could be born with it? It can, it can cross the placenta, yes, sir. So you can be born with monkeypox? Congenital, you can have what we call congenital because mommy got infected and it crossed over into the placenta and baby is affected, oh yes. Thanks for speaking with us this morning. God bless you, stay safe. <laughs> stay safe. Yeah, man, Dr. Melody Ennis, Ministry of Health and uh, Wellness uh, Director of Family Services. 10 minutes to your health. We'll do it again next Thursday.